we've heard different stories from different contestants regarding the audition process, their onboarding process. Was Would you say your audition, onboarding, getting casted process was smooth and fun, or were there some interesting bumps and moments in your experience? Um, so I think it was a roller coaster. I think this whole thing was a roller coaster. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the beginning process is, I thought it was great. It was like a normal audition to me. It was like a casting, you know, the very beginning, you know, the, like if it would be a first call to a callback type deal. And I thought it was very normal. So I was like, great. And I didn't have a broken leg at the time. So I was auditioning. <laughs> I was auditioning just regular going to the casting, whatever. So I then stupidly um, said yes to one of my old cheerleading teams. Like I used to be a competitive cheerleader um, and I was still in the cheerleading world at the time. And they were like, Courtney, we really need you to do this. Like you're an amazing tumbler. You know, we need this for this competition. And I was like, okay, yeah. So I do it. And I break my leg in the middle of the competition, like on the competition floor, I finish the routine and then no lie, a week later, top model calls me and I'm like, I can't do it. I have a broken leg, like I'm turning it down. And they were like, uh, hold up. We want that. Like, we want that. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? Like, I'm, you, I can't model. I have a broken leg. Like, that's weird. And they were like, no, this will be perfect. We still want you. We still want to do it. And I was like, okay. I mean, I'll do my best, I guess. Um, so that was that whole first scenario. But the whole process, once you get to LA, was I kind of used it as an emotional release because they ask you so many personal, like in-depth psych evaluation questions. Mm -hmm. And I kind of needed that. I had never like been to therapy or had expressed, like I kept all my emotions in and I literally wrote everything down on this, on this evaluation, like everything I had ever done, been through, was sad about, was happy about, like every tough moment in my life, I poured it out onto this paper. Like, but I didn't realize at the time that they would use all that in the show to try to get you to talk about those things. And I thought that was like where I messed up uh, a little bit, like where I exposed so much of myself, mm. but it really, it was for me. It, it was, it was for me to get that out and they kind of used it against me. And I just was like, Oh, this is reality TV. Like I, even at the beginning, like when I saw that happening and like, then they started to talk to me about what I had written down. I was just like, Oh my God, like, oops. Like, I don't know if I should have like divulged that much, but for me, I, it was like a really great emotional release, but I just didn't think that they would use it, then try to use it against me or get me to talk about those things or make that my whole identity. You know, like if you have like a traumatic story or whatever you're going through or whatever it is, they try to use that. They want that. They want the drama. They want all those kind of things. And I thought that that was the hardest thing for me to like get over because I'm very private and like I, you know, don't always want to talk about those things, even though I think now I'm in a way different place, like being a decade later, I can talk about those things. I'm at an emotional level where I have done all the work to be able to be like, oh, you know what? Like, that was a time in my life that was really difficult. Like, I was going through a lot. And it's okay to talk about it now. And people should be able to talk about it. But I think then it was like, this is going to be on national television. Like, I can't be talking about these things. Like, it's crazy. Like, what are people going to think about me? Right. Like, that's really, like, what it was. Like, I just didn't know how to be that, like, honest at that time. And so we're jumping ahead a little bit, but I'm curious to know what were some of the things that you shared on your evaluation that you feel like they later exploited while filming the show? Um, so they, I was in a 
very abusive relationship like during my college years and uh, we were together for a very long time uh, since high school and it went into college and it kind of overlapped but he was like he was bipolar what I know now is and and I didn't know at the time was he was then later diagnosed with bipolar and he had a drug addiction and like it just fueled all these things that uh, I didn't know how to handle at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was very abusive and very emotional, like addictive. And it was, you know, I think I did the best that I could to handle it. But they then like the very first time I walked out, they were like, tell us about your abusive relationship. Like, did he be like, you know, and I'm just like, I'm like, what? Like, I was like, no, um, uh, I'm not going to make that who I like. I just knew like that doesn't make me who I am. And I don't want I didn't want people to be like, oh, like she was in a, You know, I don't know. Like, I just wanted to be me and like mm-hmm. not have that be a part of my story, even though it is a part of my story. It's not my main identity as a person. And so that was like the number one thing was like that abusive relationship they wanted it so bad like they wanted me to be the victim and like the da- like the damaged girl like in a sense and i was just like that's not even who i am it was just something that i did go through like that is a very real thing that you know i had to deal with at a very young age like 19 to 22 dealing with someone who's bipolar and we had no idea yeah I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm even more happy to hear that you've healed from all that and triumphed over that experience. So thank you for sharing yeah. with us. Yeah, of course. Of course yeah. Great news, the, the great in, in part of <laughs> um, When you gave them that pushback, what was their response like? I think I'm pretty good at like shutting it down. Like, you know, and that's just what I did. And they were like, okay, yeah, she's definitely not going to talk about it. Like I, and I think there was other things to talk about. I had a broken leg. Okay. Let's make that this whole thing, which it was, and it's fine. Like, you know, so I think they like, they were like, oh, she's not gonna, she's not gonna go there and talk about it. And plus like we were filming, like, I was just like, no, that's not, let's keep it moving. <laughs> like, let's keep no. it moving. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 